it wasn't from your mouth You just looked me in the eye and then it let the words spill out Darling, I'm so happy you've been waiting for so long To finally find a guy to hold who has more right than wrong And what's this? Is it actually for real? I guess at least it's good to know You had a heart to steal, I held it for a while Tell me that's not true, my dear, it's clear these last two years have been a gift to you So picture this when you go to kiss I hope that every time you'll think of me And I'm gonna let it get to me And I know the scars on your leg still see them in my head Like a map up to you when we're climbing and I don't think that it's fair that he could lie with you there and use my directions to get right there next to you. So it starts out here on this A chord. And there's actually a video of him playing it, and he's doing this one where it's just uh, the fifth fret on the low E, and then 7D, 6G. I, I hope I said fifth fret on the low E, and it's also the fifth fret on the B. Um, so. And then. So this right here, this fancy chord is the 9th fret on the A, and then the 11th fret on the D, and then the 9th fret on the G, and the 10th on the B, and the 12th on the high E. So you got your... And then on the up swing, after that, hit this, uh, this A chord where I got 12th fret on the A, and then 14, 14, 14 on D, G, and B. But really? Don't even worry about the A string. Like these three strings, D, G, and B, are the ones you want. Down to this E chord, where you got seven on the uh, seven on the low E. Sorry, seven on the A. Nine, nine, nine. So that's. So then after you do, you land on this E. You got this cool little. Slide up from 9 to 11 on the D, and then pluck the, I'm kind of just barring the 9th fret on the B, G, and D strings. So back to the 11th fret on the D, and then I'm playing uh, the 9th fret on the B and the, and the G, and hammering on to 11 on the G, so. Back to just the bard on those frets, on the ninth fret. Back to 11 on the D. And then, that's ninth fret on D and G. Hammer on to 11 of D, pull it off, back to nine. And then land on the 12th of the A. So we'll put that intro lick together. down to this D chord where I'm 5th fret on the A, and then I, so, open, back to the 5th fret, and then play the rest of the chord where that's the 7th fret, barred on the D, G, and B, so, then you got just 5, 4, 5, slide it down, back up, and up, stroke the rest of that chord, so, so. Back to that fancy chord, this one up here, the one where you, you know that sound. <laughs> but. Then down here, um, you hit this chord where you got 11 on the A and then bar 999 on the uh, D, G, and B, so.
and then you got that. Just so strum it, hammer on, pull off on the G, strum it again, hammer off, pull off on the D string, and then, um, and that's the 11th fret they're hammering on and pulling off, and then back to 12 on the A. So, I guess we'll play the whole thing through. Similar intro. And so they get to here. Whoops, then you go. Where to do these harmonics, um, pretty much, so I'm on the seventh fret, but go like right on top of the actual fret, not where you'd normally put your finger, but right on top of it. And then just lightly put your finger on it. Strum it. If you're on electric guitar, I think you have to do it kind of light, but or you don't have to. But on the acoustic guitar, you can just kind of like I'm not even my finger's not even that lightly on it, and I'm not picking that lightly. All right, yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> and then you don't do the fancy thing on this one. You just kind of hold that eleven nine nine nine. So now you're into the, the verse, it's back to this A chord, 5th fret, 7, 6, 5, and then you're back to this E chord, uh, 7, 9, 9, 9, but you can also hit the low E string, it's an E. And then the, this D chord, where you got 5th fret, 7-7-7. Seven, seven, seven. What's this? Oh, and then it's back to the E chord. What's this? Is it actually for real? And the next today, call her, ask her how she feels. Same chords. The worst part is the truth, you're just like everybody else. Yeah. That's what he says in the second verse, but on the last line of the verse, go to this, uh, this C sharp minor chord. Where it's 9, 11, 9, 10, 9, 9. What are the actual words again on this part? So it's the part where you say, um, My dear, it's clear these last few years have been a gift to you. So picture this when you D chord go to that fancy chord, the one from before. Kiss, I hope. And then you go to this, uh, 11A 999. That every time you'll think of me, and I'm gonna let it get to me. So then you're into this uh, 7 on the low E. Don't play the A, 777. Seven, seven. It gets me. And then you kind of got this little E run up thing. So it's a low, it's an E chord, open E chord, where I got open, two, two, one, open, open. And then I got uh, four on the A, four on the D, two on the G. And then I'm going to six, six, four on the A, D, and G, so. I know the scars on your legs. Then you're into the chorus. It's the same as the intro, but actually, a little easier because you got your legs still see them in my when you say my you just instead of doing all the hammer ons you kind of just walk it up slide then just the bar then hammer on to the 11 on the G and then just the bar to 11 on D to 9 on so. I know the scars on your legs, still see them in my head like a map up to you. But when we're climbing into bed, and I don't same chords as the intro. You there and use my directions to get right there next to you. This is just 
just a cool Phil thing. I don't even remember if he does it on the on the album, but in the video of him playing it on YouTube, he does this little. So I guess we'll start out here. You got the A chord. And then I'm just putting my pinky there on the seventh fret of the B. And then slide up from five to seven on the A. And then play that E chord where you bar the nine, nine, nine. Then that's uh, 10 on the A, 9 on the E, down to 9A, or did I say A? Shit, it's an A note. <laughs> um, 10 on the B to 9, and 9 on the high E, down to 9 on the B, 7 on the high E, down to 7 on the B, and 5 on the high E down to this shape again on 5B4 high E, so. And then you got this. Play this 5th fret on the A, and then strum the rest of that D chord, 7-7-7. Seven, seven, seven. And then slide from 5 to 7, seven. slide from 7 to 9 on the A, to 7-7-7 seven, seven, seven on the, the D, G and B, and then this little hammer on, where it's hammer on, well play the bar of the 777, hammer on the 9 of the D, pull it off, and then to the 9 of the A. And then go to this, uh, that the same one where I forgot the words on earlier, where it's 9 of the um, low E, 11, 9, 10, 9, 9. Um, and then in the second verse. And then you drop to through the sky and you get into insincerity. It's scary then I want to the bar was raised so high that he just walked right under. So you just don't do that walk up that you do in the first round through. And then same could accidentally call or ask her how she feels just wait, just wait a month you'll find out for yourself the worst part is the truth you're just like everybody else same chord that the one i, I keep forgetting the words on <coughs> my phone got low battery all right um then you this part this when you go there's an extra round in it this time i hope that every time you'll think of me then and now they will all run out I know he can't compare to what I used to be So, first go to this, when you say I, he can't compare to what I You go to this 7 on the low E, 7, 7, 7 on the D, G, and B Compare to what I used to be Move the whole thing up two frets And I'm gone then go to a, this D chord, where it's the same shape as the A that you play a lot of the song, um, but it's up here on 10, uh, 10 on the low E, and then 12 on the D, 11 on the G, 10 on the B. And then you got the little move that you had uh, earlier leading up to the chorus. And then another chorus. So after the second chorus, you got another little uh, cool riff thing. Where so we'll finish up the verse or the, the chorus. Directions to get right there next to you. Here's the pattern. 
kind of going, so you got ninth fret on the A, and then uh, you're kind of alternating between the 11 of the G and the 10 of the uh, B, and this the nine on both of those strings, so. That's, uh, let me just put the pick in here, I'll play it really slowly. Oops. And then you go down here where you're on the 5th fret of the A, and then the 7th fret of the G and the B. Um, and then you're alternating between that and the 6th and the of the G and the 5th of the B. So. Also, if you kind of bar it with your hand, you can throw in the seventh fret of the high E. And after the first time you go through it, you start to go. Just, just when you're walking it up back to this chord, um, go. Hit, just slide it up two frets, and then hit that, and then you're back where you started. Does he, does he know your dog's names? So I'm going in a D chord here, 5th fret, and then 7-7-7. Seven, 5th seven, seven. fret on the A, and then 7-7-7. Seven, seven, seven. Your dog's names. I'm going to this E chord, where I got 7 on the A, and then 6 on the D, 4 on the G, and five on the B, so. You know your dog's names Or the fact that he can't claim So it's back to the D chord. Can't claim Then just this open E, or open two, two, one, open, open, open. He knows the scars on I think this is the end. Yeah, there is an extra thing. I guess just for the last chorus, play it through one extra time. And then um, at the very end, after you play it through the third time, uh, just land on this nice open A chord where you got open, two, 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 open. So, um, yeah, so you're at the... I think that it's fair how he could lie with you there And use my direction And then, in the video off I'm playing it, he does this little thing too. Just the 14th fret on the D, G, and B. So thanks guys. I think the guitar in the song was pretty sick, so I hope you like it, and uh, I'll see you next time.